Hello friends. In this video, uh, we learn how to connect a Nikon mirrorless camera to uh, a laptop or a uh, PC over Wi-Fi network. So mirrorless cameras that are being offered, they provide uh, inbuilt Wi-Fi connectivity. Uh, so I am going to test uh, Nikon Z50. In this, uh, it has got uh, various connectivity options, uh, Bluetooth, then Wi-Fi, then uh, wired connection for HDMI and uh, USB connectivity for charging and transferring the photographs. Okay. So those who are looking for uh, wireless transfer of photos uh, over Wi-Fi network, uh, for them this video will be quite helpful. Uh, in uh, the Nikon Z50, it offers uh, two modes of uh, connecting uh, the PC with the camera for transferring photos. Uh, first mode is mainly concerned with the uh, connecting camera with PC over uh, your home Wi-Fi network, any Wi-Fi network to which the camera can be connected and PC is also connected. So that is one of the modes. So that the profile will be created in the Nikon camera and uh, secondly we can have the transfer of uh, photos over camera network. Camera is also capable of uh, setting up its own Wi-Fi network to which we will connect our PC. So PC will log on to the camera Wi-Fi network and again it will be easier for us to transfer. Uh, once uh, this uh, uh, pairing is done between the camera and the PC, in both these modes, a profile will be created in the camera. So that profile will remain stored and uh, whenever we enable the Wi-Fi and PC is also connected to the Wi-Fi, whatever photos we have been taking, they will be automatically transferred. So there is a setting in the uh, setup menu wherein you have to keep auto send mode on and uh, you'll be able to transfer the photos. Uh, if the camera is connected in real time or Wi-Fi with the PC, so whatever photos we take instantly, they will also be transferred, right? So camera is capable of taking photographs and as soon as it is taken, it will be lined up or it will be queued in order to transfer to the PC. Uh, if the camera Wi-Fi network, uh, we are turned off or they are not connected, then maybe we are on a photo shoot, the laptop or a PC is not with us. So no need to worry, we take the photos and they will be all stored in the camera memory card. And whenever we come back to our office or to our home, we can connect the Wi-Fi and uh, without any wired connection, all the photographs will be that are uh, transferred to a queue, they will be transferred to the laptop. Okay, so I hope this uh, uh, video will be quite helpful to you and uh, let us uh, go through the various phases. Initially, we'll see connecting over home Wi-Fi network and then later on connecting over camera Wi-Fi network. So all we require is uh, downloading an app, Nikon Wireless Transmitter Utility. So I've just uh, typed in the search here. You can see it's, it is available on the Nikon website, Wireless Transmitter Utility. So this, uh, app we must download on our desktop PC. So here it is uh, the web page. It takes us to a download page further. So we have to click here on the download page. It shows two options either for Windows PC or Mac OS. So in my case it is a Mac OS. Down below we just have to select the region and do the download. So I'll just do that. So we can see that it is downloaded. Let me open it. And quickly we can go for installing this particular software. So let us install this on our PC. These are usual steps to be followed on Mac operating system. Just click next and click install. It will uh, take us to these steps. We'll just uh, agree and uh, click install. Enter your uh, password for the PC. 
before you install the software. So wireless transmitter utility must be first installed on our laptop or PC. We can see it is installed now. Let us go and check on the computer right side wireless transmitter utility let us launch it so it gives uh, option to pair the computer with the camera click next then uh, select camera built-in Wi-Fi and then select the destination folder where you would like to save the images transferred from the camera over to the PC so I'll just uh, browse and uh, create a folder on my desktop. I'll just name this uh, folder uh, as images. So let me create a new folder. Let us name it as image, images and click create. So the folder is created on my desktop. Then we after selecting the folder in this app, we we'll just uh, for click further, click next and the wizard is finished. Before transfer, transferring the image, we need to pair the camera with our PC over. So we are going to check with Wi-Fi connectivity over home network and over camera network. So first we consider uh, mainly uh, over the home Wi-Fi connection. So keep your uh, PC ready, ensure that you have a home Wi-Fi network at your access you have to put those uh, keys into camera in order to connect it let us uh, dive into the camera setting menu initially uh, we have to check for setup menu then within setup menu we move down all the way to the third page and look for connect to PC option once this option is located just click on connect to PC it will say that None of the devices are registered for transferring the photos. So we have to click on network settings. Select network settings on camera. Then it will ask us to create profile. Let us click create profile. When we click create profile, it will give two options either to connect through an existing Wi-Fi network or home Wi-Fi network or directly connecting to the PC or camera Wi-Fi. So we'll first test the home Wi-Fi network option. So we search for the home Wi-Fi network over camera. It will show available networks. First network is my home network. I'll click on it. So connection wizard will ask for the encryption key or password for the home network. So on camera, I have to enter the home network password. So this is a screenshot. I've just entered the home network password onto it. And uh, once done, I'll have to just click input or click OK. <coughs> so now connection wizard shows that home Wi-Fi network SSID is displayed. It will ask how to obtain IP address. We keep it in default as obtain automatically. Click on that one. So home Wi-Fi network configuration is done. Just click next. So now camera is showing we have to pair the computer with the camera. Enable Wi-Fi transmitter utility on your laptop or PC. So on my Mac, I already have downloaded the Nikon software wireless transmitter utility uh, from the Nikon uh, official website. When I launch it, it will show this interface and I can see the camera which is searching for a PC. Click on the camera and click next. So it will ask for authentication code. So Please refer to the camera screen which I am showing down at the bottom. So same code has to be entered here on the PC. So as I enter there will be a uh, pairing process will be completed between the camera and uh, your PC. And immediately you can see down at the bottom that the network is configured and action is completed successfully is prompted on the PC. So we can see here my home Wi-Fi network is in the list of profiles on camera. So now that we are connected, we we'll let us take some photographs and uh, uh, search them on the 
uh, folder which is created for saving the photographs. So instant transfer of photos taken while PC is connected. So let me just, uh, this is a camera interface, I will take two, three photographs just for the purpose of demonstration. So we can see that instantly these photographs as they are taken since camera is connected over home Wi-Fi network with my PC currently, uh, this will be instantly lined up for transferring. You can see that green mark, that green mark is appearing on the photograph in gallery. It shows that it is being transferred. So let us check on our PC. You can see the images that we have taken just now, they are now transferred to the PC over Wi-Fi, home Wi-Fi network. Uh, not only can we transfer the uh, photos taken currently, we can also transfer photos already lying in the gallery. Let us first disable the Wi-Fi connection, okay, just in order to uh, demonstrate how we can do that. I have turned off the Wi-Fi on camera, then I go to the gallery, camera gallery and then select some photographs. So I will select uh, this middle row photographs. I click on the photo and then click I button on my camera. It will give option to select and send. So I will just choose that option. You can see here, select to send. Press I button and then again select a photo, select to send. So you can see these three photographs are now lined up for transfer. I go to the camera menu visible down at the bottom, enable the Wi-Fi connection and as I enable those three photographs which I selected in the gallery, you can see they are getting transferred. <coughs> so this is how we actually transfer the photographs which were taken in the past and not yet transferred, we can select them. Even we can transfer photos uh, any number of times by choosing them and then again transferring it camera tend to remember what photographs were sent earlier so they will not be resent again uh, just make sure that auto send option should be enabled on your camera while we want to assure that these photos are automatically transfer whenever we switch on the wi-fi so we have seen how to configure home wi-fi network now let us uh, see how to connect camera with pc or camera wi-fi network so process is very similar. First of all, we disable the Wi-Fi connection over home Wi-Fi network. Then go to the network settings and again create second profile, this time for the camera Wi-Fi network. And choose uh, direct connection to the PC option. So pairing process again will be initiated like we we, we have seen just now for the home Wi-Fi. So it will say connect to the camera Wi-Fi network over the PC. So I move to the PC, look for the camera Wi-Fi network. Here it is. Click on it and it will ask for the key displayed on the camera screen. I enter the network key for the camera Wi-Fi network and then launch the wireless transmitter utility. When I launch the wireless transmitter utility and select camera again, it is visible. Click next. See that camera is already available. Click next. So it will ask for authentication code. Again from camera screen, I copy the authentication code and then put it on my PC. So pairing is completed. So profile for camera Wi-Fi network is also now getting created. So both the profiles are now ready. The latest one will be on a higher priority okay so let us again see okay profile here is created in the list now let us again uh, take some fresh photographs and see whether they are getting transferred through camera wi-fi network or not so this time i'll show the camera interface uh, on the same screen down at the bottom you can see images three new images they are being taken photos and as I take them, they will be transmitted directly to the PC instead of going through the home Wi-Fi network. Similarly, we can select any photographs 
from the gallery mark them by pressing i button and uh, choosing option select to send and we can send uh, five new photographs maybe which were taken earlier all the way to the pc you can see on the computer screen as folder it will indicate all these five photographs will get transferred so let us say that uh, after uh, transferring the photos you have turned off the camera and the next day when you switch on you realize that actually the wi-fi connectivity will be turned off automatically so no need to worry if you are carrying your laptop and your network is on you can either enable it beforehand or if not then go ahead with the all day shoot and uh, in the evening whenever you return home you can transfer them comfortably over wi-fi so again i take uh, three different photographs and uh, check with my gallery these three photographs are there in the bottom row and only thing i have to do is enable the wi-fi connection already two profiles and pairing have been done so whichever option is available either the home wi-fi option or the camera network wi-fi based on priority the images will be transferred to the laptop so you can see here images are transferred right so i hope you enjoyed uh, this transferring photos thank you for watching